Most people's dogs obey them. Mine only obeys the call of the wild. You're taking them on a three-day hike? You're gonna get lost. You don't know anything about scouting. What kind of scout are you, anyway? A beagle scout, of course. He's pretty confident. All right, knapsack inspection. A scout never carries more than the strict minimum. Socks, first aid kit, a map, and lunch? I wonder if they're lost. Of course they're lost. That stupid beagle couldn't find the nose on his face. I don't think he's that bad. After all, he is a beagle scout, you know. From Snoopy. What does that stupid mutt want? Three meals a day? No, he wrote me because I'm his master and he misses me while he's away from home. Dear round headed kid. Yep, that's a letter from Snoopy. Why can't I have a dog who can at least remember my name? Kansas City. Wow, what a place. You should see it, dear round headed kid. I am writing this letter in a store that sells typewriters. Right now, a clerk is eyeing me rather suspiciously. What's the matter? Don't I look like a customer? As I leave, I realize I'd forgotten to ask him if he knew where I could find my darling Belle. Belle? Do you know who Belle is? <laughs> Belle has always loved the water, so I decide to go take a walk by the seaside. And so I walked clear around Kansas City, but I never found the ocean. I guess I forgot to tell you that Belle is my sister. If it turns out she needs help, will you send some money? Snoopy has a sister? I don't have any money. I finally found her. What a reunion. Belle is just as beautiful as ever. She's become a designer and invited me to her first fashion show. Peanuts! Okay, Snoopy, you're taking your Beagle Scouts on a hike. Well, how long will you be gone? Are you going far? Ah, oh, yes, I see. He's right. For such a long way, it is better to have good, sturdy walking sticks. By this time, Snoopy and his scout troop are probably out in the wild country where man has never trod. Beyond civilization. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Let me see if I understand. You were out far beyond all civilization. Suddenly, you heard five chocolate chip cookies calling you. Whom it may concern, 
Please allow our two experts to dive into your swimming pool to inspect the quality of the water. This official letter is from the Minister President of the World's Inspection of the Quality of Swimming Pool Water. You can't be the Minister President of the World. And if you could, I doubt you'd say please. Stop making me feel guilty. I was here first. A coin? Okay, we'll flip a coin. Heads, I stay in this pool. Tails, I let you go in and I find somewhere else. Why didn't I say two out of three? Airport construction project has hit a snag. The owner of a piece of property situated in the middle of the terrain refuses to sell. We're not about to get on a plane anytime soon, Sally. I wonder who that landowner could be. You, Snoopy? You're the owner? But how can you own land? You won it at poker? He played against some rabbits, and he won their burrow. Uh. But why won't you sell? What else can you do with that land? He was thinking of a bird sanctuary. If you sold your land to the airport commission, you could make a million dollars. He's not interested in money. But he'd also be doing the community a service. <laughs> the community doesn't want him to walk the streets without a leash and refuses to allow him to vote in general elections. If you did sell, you'd probably get to meet some airline stewardesses. <laughs> He'll sell. <laughs> 